Morning, everyone. Cappy here, 410 Expedition. Here we are in the Limestone Mountain area, and it snowed, and it snowed good. One of the things that uh, we're doing this weekend is Rene from Off Grid Trek called us up and said, Hey, guys, do you want to pull a Tech 2 Echo 4x4 trailer, which is the first one in North America this weekend, and test it out? And we said, You know what? That's a fabulous idea. So we got Bruce's Tacoma. We went over on Wednesday night. We got this beautiful Tech 2 hooked up, and we're here just testing it out. Bruce and Brian slept in it last night. Super cozy mattress. Let's go over this thing, and let's see what it's made out of. So one of the great things about the, uh, the off-grid track or the Echo 4x4 trailers is these things come fully equipped. And I mean fully equipped. Inside the kitchen, you're fully loaded with cups, glasses, wine glasses, dishes. The stove is actually mounted uh, on the actual gate that opens for your table. This is also equipped with a Dometic uh, freezer cooler on a heavy duty slide. When you're looking at this trailer, and you look at its price tag, you know why. It's because it has every amenities you need included in the trailer. The tent material is actually a military grade D400 and a D450 uh, ripstop uh, fabric. It's actually fire rated too. That's something that people don't know, uh, and that's why it's a military spec tent. Comes with a full awning system. Right now we're underneath it, and it's a full 360 awning system that begins from where the sleeping quarters are all the way around. Now this does equip also if you want with the side walls to give you full enclosure whether you've got high winds, cold weather, if it's raining, you can be extremely comfortable. So on the side here, this is where your kitchen opens up. This side panel is actually a table. So when you open this up and drop this down, there's a table full stainless steel that comes out, it's an additional table to work on or even have dinner on. It's a pretty cool way to utilize every space available on the trailer by simple things like this. Now what's great about this side kitchen is that all the amenities are in here. When you open this side door, your stove is already attached to the unit and you've got all of your, your plates, your cups, your bowls, everything is in here, and it's in one of these foams where no rattling, no breakage at all. That's pretty cool, that's living in luxury. This is your onboard power management system. Uh, there's a 12 volt battery that charges and has everything in here. Now this, of course, when you're at home and you need to recharge your batteries, it comes with a 30 amp, 125 volt adapter that simply just threads on get your extension cord and that way you can recharge your battery while parked in your garage or on your driveway. All of the Echo Traders are equipped with a 75 quart Dometic freezer cooler system. So everything is in here on a nice power slide that actually locks into place. There's your first lock and your second lock and you fully close. Everything has got an automotive seal so there's no moisture, no dust that gets anywhere inside the compartments. Let's take a look at the back. So in the back here, this is where you have access to the back compartment. There's a lot of storage space in here. You have a full size spare, and this actually has the fire pit uh, camping grill, or the cooking grill right inside here. Now to get to the back is simple. I love how these are nice and tight and it gives you a really good seal. We open this up and you got lots of storage in here. The back gate here has a four pocket storage system. Inside there's a lot of room to put a ton of stuff. Camp chairs, extra tables, bedding, sleeping bags, food, water, your barbecue. He's got a Weber barbecue in here. Not included with the trailer by the way. And inside here you'll see on the living quarters there's actually a bin storage system 
And in this one unit here, we have four big deep bins. Let's go take a look inside. Equivalent to the other side, we have another side panel. Now there's no table here, but check this out. Nice big table to work on. And here are those four bins I was telling you about. Now these are made out of plastic. So what's great about these is you can take them out. If you get something that spills inside, you can fully wash them out. Nice and deep, organize your clothes if you want, extra food if you want. The option is yours. You also have access to actually the back cargo from the side here. So if you want something from, for, for quick recovery, you can get it from inside without having to be exposed to the elements. Now this does have the side zipper, I guess, what we want to call it, the pocket. You can close this up so you don't lose any heat. But in order to get access, you can open up the zipper. It's got a strong military grade Velcro and it seals it all inside. The bed up here is between a queen and a king mattress. You can sleep three people up here very comfortably. It does come with a ladder to get in and out. Now it also has a fallout bar. So if you have a child, the child won't fall out of bed. Kind of a nice little added feature in there. Now we had to set this thing up last night in the dark. This basically opens like this, and this gives you an extra room or living space where someone could actually also sleep in here. You could add a couple of cots, uh, a couple of mattresses. You could actually sleep this in this room and add it as a, add a room. On the roof, we have the condensation ceiling. It is a white cloth, and actually it really helps. Uh, you know, as here in a, in a Canadian wilds, we get a lot of condensation in the morning, and that helps prevent that from happening. One of the great things about the Echo Trailers is you get this really cool, kind of like a rock guard. It comes on and off easily. We put it on last night once we hit the gravel road, just to protect. Now on the top here, you have extra storage for let's say a bin, or if you want to throw some firewood up here instead of putting it inside the back, because you know wood gets all the chips and it gets messy. You can tie that down here. You have two five gallon jugs for either if you want to have water, also fits extra fuel if you want to change it out and put some fuel cans here. And that's on a full locking system. This is pretty neat. This access door here is just the other side where the slide out is. Maybe a couple things can fit in there, but the Dometic fridge cooler takes up the majority of the space in this front nose here. When this mesh is not installed, there's actually a washing station here. There's a grid that mounts on top, you have your wash and your dry, and there's actually a water spout right here. Underneath the chassis is a 120 liter water storage tank. That's pretty cool, tucked away, stainless steel. That's a lot of water to carry with you. In the front on both corners, this is where you store your five pound propane bottles. Locked away, protected from any rocks or any uh, anything that could get to it. It's a pretty neat system here. Now one last thing that we're going to talk about is how it felt for Bruce pulling this with the Tacoma. He sensed something a little bit different when towing this trailer and there's a reason why. So Rene here is with Off Grid Trek. He's the Canadian distributor for these trailers and he's going to tell us a little bit more about how this system works versus the other ones out there. So what we have here is instead of a traditional electrical brake system that we're used to here in North America, this is what is called a run-in brake system. So there's actually a piston right in here and it feels when your vehicle is braking and it will brake for you as well. It's, uh, it's probably one of the most simplistic systems I've seen and it drives beautif beautifully both on and off road. Your connector so you can connect right to solar. So what's that for? Yeah, so what this is, it's a, it's a traditional Anderson 50 amp plug. So this has been designed so that we can actually charge directly from solar. 
So if you have a 100, 120 watt, 200 watt panel, we offer uh, 200 watt solar, solar blankets and 120 watt solar blankets just to keep with the overland lifestyle where space is always an issue. So small light footprint with the, but with the highest efficient efficiency ratings possible. Yeah. What was it like for you pulling this thing? Uh, big, the big. I know it's a big difference with it uh, compared to uh, my trailer because uh, my off-road trailer does not have any trailer brakes and with this one even on the highway let alone on the gravel roads on the highway when you start as soon as you start to brake I can feel it starting to pull my truck back oh wow so yeah it was uh, quite noticeable and it was just a, an awesome feature so excellent we've got the Tech 2 all wrapped up from the weekend I gotta say, first impression, this is one rugged trailer. If you're looking for something that is ready to go, out of the box, hook up and go, this is a unit you need to get. The Tech 2 is the base model, then you get up to the Tech 5, which is the, the big one, but this is a great starter. If you're looking to get out in Overland and get into some remote locations, this is the kit you want. Uh, I'm impressed with this system. It takes a little bit longer to set up, but in the end, you are comfortable, you are dry. The add room is one excellent feature that I like about this. If you're interested in the product, please visit offgridtrek.com and you can check out the units there. Full specs are online. You can see everything that's included and reach out to Rene and he'll get you hooked up. Have a good day.